So this guy, he said, what about when you've been together for almost a year, made plans for building a life together, and I messed up all the rules and broke them all, yet she's still here. She's not around as much, but you don't get to sit on my lap in a moment of weakness, kiss away my tears, look me in the eyes, and tell me I never have to go through anything alone. Do you think it's okay for a woman to validate your vulnerability, love you for it, tell you a million times a day that she loves you, and then disappear? You don't get the luxury of making me drop my guard, invest everything in each other, and then bounce. You don't want that smoke. So there's, there's a lot of feelings to unpack here. If you're watching this guy, I understand I've been through this situation where women I had crushes on, women that I thought were going to be women that I got with, or women that I, I was with that I thought was going to go long term, it just didn't go that way, you know? And so I know that feeling of like, you know, in my 20s it happened and it would just, they would go away and I feel some kind of way. Hey, I'm the guy that I didn't, I didn't graduate my, my final senior, my first senior year in college because I was, date, I was trying to date a friend and then I thought things were going to go one way. I didn't make the moves I needed to make. She went back to her ex and I was devastated for months on end to where I didn't go to my classes and do my work and I flunked out. So I don't want you to think I don't understand that journey. I just know that happening, the results that ended up being, I didn't graduate on time. And so that gave me a lesson early on of, oh, this is why it's good to be indifferent because when you invest your feelings into what moves a woman's making, you have cataclysmic outcomes. So. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, wouldn't recommend it. So with that said, let's go through what he's talking about. So here's the thing. This is what I want you guys to understand clearly, right? Is that when you start dating somebody, the mistake we make as guys is we have this idea that the other person that's with us owes us something. They owe us respect. They owe us conversations. They owe us kindness and careness. If they decide to leave, they owe us to, uh, to, to not just ghost us and they want to sit down and talk to us about what's going on. And so we start to believe that if a woman decides to leave, they owe us all those things. You know, you might start dating a woman and you, you know, guys have famously had the conversation of, Hey, so like, if you, if you decide you didn't like me anymore, you would just tell me. Right. And the woman's like, Oh yeah, I totally would not just go away. I would totally like sit down and tell you about it and blah, blah, blah. And then we buy that and we believe them. And nine times out of 10, it's a lie. So here's the thing, guy, is that as much as we think, that women owe us these things. The reality is they don't. Like it's a nicety if they decide to do that, but the reality is there are some women that just, just like guys that don't want that conversation. They don't want the conversation. They don't want you trying to fight them over the decision that they've already made. And so you might date a woman for a year or two or three, and then she decides one day, I don't want to be in this, and they go away. And your brain initially is not going to be able to handle it. Like I get it, but I just want you to get out of the thought process of thinking that a woman owes you any particular thing. The nice ones will do that. Like I've dated women before. We're like, say date three or four. I'm trying to ask them out for another date. And they're like, Hey, to be honest, like it's been great, but I just not, I'm not feeling it. I respect them because most women don't do that. And as I've said before, most women don't do that because they've had the experience in the past of trying to do that. And then the guy fighting them, arguing them, threatening them, stalking them, all that unnice stuff, right? So some women will just be like, I don't want to deal with that. And I don't know if, I don't know if you're going to be the kind of guy that does that or not, but I'm not going to try to find out. And they just, they just bounce and it's not fair and it feels horrible. But again, they do not owe you that. All right. And so in, in response to do, I think it's okay. I don't think it's okay at all. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen, you know? Now, but understand the other part of this, okay? She says, he says, do you think it's okay for a woman to validate your vulnerabilities? And so, so that indicates to me, because this, look what he said. He said, um, uh, you don't get to sit on my lap in a moment of weakness, kiss away my tears. He says, she validated my vulnerability. So this is the lie that guys buy into, you know? They buy into the lie that women actually want to deal with our tears and deal with our vulnerabilities and, and, and have the ability to see us being weak and be like, oh, he's being weak. That's so open. This is an example of one of those things that uh, guys think should be an okay thing that more often than not is not cool. 
Like, I know, I get it, guy. Hey, we live in a world where, you know, guys are like, I wish I could be more vulnerable. And, you know, there's tons of guys on YouTube and TikTok that'll say, like, you know, oh, as a guy, you need to be able to express your vulnerabilities and cry in front of women. And if you, if they can't handle that, that's not the woman for you. The reality guy is that all women have this thing in their brain that's like, if he's too weak, if he cries too much, that's indicative of a man that doesn't have the strength to handle what the world's gonna throw at us as a couple. And that now puts my life in danger. And so squirrel brain, it's gonna cause him to be unattracted over time. So the fact that this guy's like, she was sitting there wiping away my tears. I don't know what kind of situation this guy was going through. Hey, maybe somebody died and he cried. But I know a lot of guys these days are trying to be more emotional because they think that being more emotional is gonna win women. And so they will openly let themselves cry over things that women are sitting there thinking, I mean, as a woman, I wouldn't even cry over that. Why is he crying over it? And so be mindful guys, even women that have high interest in you at the point that if you're crying a bit too much, if you're showing a bit too much weakness, if you're being a bit too vulnerable in a way that's like feminine leaning, then yeah, over time, she's gonna be thinking, I don't wanna be with this guy anymore. I wish I didn't have to be the guy that tell it to you and I wish it was not true, you know? Cause I've dated some great women and even them, I, there've been times where like, I might say a thing like, you know, oh, I had like a, 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 a I'm in a situation and I don't know what, what I'm gonna do about it. And you telling a woman, you don't know what you're gonna do about something, she equates that to, so what if we're ever in a situation that we need to come up with a, situ with a solution, he can't figure it out, oh my God. So it's not that you can't ever do those things, but just being real, it's just like, you know, women, they get mad at guys because they might be a little too masculine leaning. And it's like, I wish I could tell those women, you know what, a man will accept you despite you being masculine leaning, but most men, you guys know, we're not gonna really like that. You know, a woman that's like a little bit more muscular than us, or a woman that's gonna like, you know, yell a little bit too much, we're not gonna be liking those women. So, so I don't fault women for being apprehensive around guys that are being a bit too emotional, a bit too cry, a bit too weak, a bit too vulnerable, all right? Understand this goes back to indifference, but more importantly, it comes back to just learning to not let the world bother you so much. Now, to be fair, as you get older, like I'm 42 now, I realize now a lot of the things that I worry about in my 20s, I, I was fine, but, but when you're a younger guy, you don't know that you're gonna get through stuff and make it out the other end. And so you're bound to be a bit more anxious, a bit more nervous, all right? A, that does not mean you show that off to a woman or tell her about it, and B, that does not mean that you don't work on trying to make things bother you less. Because the, more, the less things bother you, the more a woman's gonna feel as though you have a hold on your life and your situation and will feel comfortable walking into your situation knowing that you overall have a handle on a lot of things. If you become like this guy where you're being overly vulnerable and crying and stuff like that, we could make the argument for you should be able to do that, but the reality is that's not gonna win over a lot of women. You can be mad at it all day, we're not gonna change the interest workings of how women function, so you gotta decide if you're gonna just be like, I'm gonna be as emotional as I wanna be and find a woman that can deal with that, or be like, I could learn to be less emotional. I found it's actually more beneficial to be less emotional because it's less stress. I worry about stuff less. I know I can handle things a lot better. And I find that the things that I can't change, it's totally fine. I can do something else, you know? So just some things to consider. Like ultimately, like I said, women don't owe you understanding. Women don't owe be able to be with you and, and you know act one way one day and then act different the next. Like if they could be consistent, it'd be great. They do not owe you that. The world does not owe you understanding like that. They, they, they just don't. So the faster you're able to learn that, the less bothered you will be. Not that you won't be bothered at all, but the less bothered you'll be when a woman just decides, eh, he's not for me, I'm not going home tonight, do 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 it, it'll, it'll annoy the crap out of your brain, but, I, but at least I found in, my, in my, my instance that your brain gets over it quicker because you weren't depending on that person for your happiness in the first place, you know? Ultimately, you should not be depending on another person to determine what your emotional state is going to be. The sooner you as a guy get that concept, it's gonna be a lot easier to date and a lot easier to move on, plus you'll recognize, hey, if she didn't like me, Okay, it sucks, I thought we had a thing, but you know what, there's other girls over here that are probably better prospects, and always be mindful that yes, regardless of how great the person you think is that you're dating right now, there will always, always, always be other, if not better prospects out there 
other than the person you're dating, if only you're not so attached to this having to be your person. So hopefully that helps that guy out. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. <laughs>